So today's case is uh, 12 years old male with uh, displaced fracture of distal radius and ulna. It was initially managed elsewhere, they tried reduction but failed to achieve. And there is also a wound over the volar aspect, it is an open fracture. So the plan is to, uh, because since there is a wound over, <coughs> wound over here, so plan is to do a mini open incision in the ulna and put a tense nail in the ulna and after you get reduction of the ulna, <coughs> then plan is to fix the radius bone. Okay. Good morning. So today's fracture was a uh, distal third radius and ulna fracture one day old with an impending compartment syndrome with a swelling and a wound over the volar uh, aspect of the forearm which was initially managed elsewhere. The patient had arrived yesterday. We kept the patient elevated, arm elevated. Today the patient was posted for surgery. So first we tried closed direction. Flow reduction was not coming, so uh, we <coughs> did a, a, a anti grade tense nail of the ulna. After that, we attained reduction, and after we attained a after we attained a, a acceptable reduction, we passed three K wires, two from the radius to light and one from the dorsal ulnar junction of the radius. And now this is the final uh, picture which is in acceptable range and considering the fact that there is a wound over the volar aspect so we didn't want it to open the radius so this is acceptable so now we we'll do the final closure and put the patient on slab oh,